Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT for lead generation and sales as a virtual assistant? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leah Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines named 2XU and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now this is part of the series that I've been doing in the last couple of months where we go through different parts or areas of someone's business and how to use ChatGPT with it. We've even gone so far to create the AI prompt assistant. This is our product that's now available for everyone. If you guys are here early enough, you guys can use the special code that we have in the link in the description. But basically, this is a list of prompts that you can use uh, when it comes to different parts, again, of the business using ChatGPT. So today, we will be focusing on, again, for the sales funnel of it or the lead generation part of using ChatGPT when it comes to sales. So First off is if you guys already got the AI prompt playbook, this is what it would look like for first and foremost is we have the primary prompt. So this is something that I have been loving teaching, which is basically we're calling it the woe method. So the woe method is you start with W, which is who. So every time you start a new thread instead of chat GPT, you think of woe. W is who, O is outcome, A is are you ready, and H is how. So what this actually looks like. So in here we have, I am a virtual assistant to an entrepreneur, so that's a who who runs a business, so you're giving them context of who you are, and our clients are insert type of clients. So that's basically the who part of it is, who are you, what do you do, you know, who are you doing this for? And then the outcome that you would like, which is here we have, I would like your assistance in creating a sales funnel, including templates and best practices. That is your outcome. And then A is, are you ready? Now the H part comes actually after the first prompt. However, if let's say you're doing a specific research or you want a specific format of how you want chat to be to answer, that's the H part in woe. So for example, let's say, hey, can you create I need your help on doing this research. Uh, can you create it in this format or this template? That's the H part in the woe. Well. So we're just gonna go back and forth with using this as our just our template basically. So you guys know how the AI prompt assistant works. Again, you guys can grab it with the special discount in the description below. But we will go through that first is we'll grab this, hit copy. Then on ChatGPT, if you guys have never seen ChatGPT before, Again, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna hit refresh because I haven't looked at this tab in a while. So it might give us a little bit of an error, but I will paste it in. So I'm getting very specific here. The more specific that you can be, the more helpful ChatGPT can be. So that's why we have the woe method so you can be as specific as you need to be. So I'm gonna hit enter. So of course we have the are you ready part of it. So then flipping back. So the first thing that you can ask ChatGPT to do is creating the sales funnel. So again, copy and pasting from here of can you create the sales funnel that will be a deal for the business so clicking enter on that so then you'll start creating that sales funnel for you now normally if you're an entrepreneur like me when i started my business from scratch this is a really long process because you have to figure out a lot of bits and pieces but because i was specific enough for ChatGPT to give them the information that I can give them, it's giving me already the action plan that I can go through when it comes to creating that sales funnel. And because of how I structured the first prompt on here of like uh, creating a sales funnel, including templates and best practices, because I put that, it already knew that it should input the best practices of how to create the sales funnel because I asked for it in the prompt itself. So that's how important it is that you are specific of what the outcome is that you need from ChatGPT. So the next is I'll go through, go back to the AI Prompt Assistant. So I'll just put, you know, what are the specific steps basically of creating this funnel? And again, it will break that down for me. I don't have to give it a lot of more information. I already gave it the information that it needed at the very beginning. So then it will start again, spouting out this information for me that will help me when it comes to creating this sales funnel for my business or for my client's business as a virtual assistant. Now, as you can see here, it's already generating those steps for me of like define your target audience, create the awareness, generate interest, nurture your leads, provide a compelling offer, you know, convert leads into customers. So that'll be now a really good sales funnel that I can start creating. It's like, how do I create an awareness? How do I generate their interest? How do I nurture the leads? How do I, you know, create a compelling offer? So you can ask ChatGPT step by step what each one of this would look like for you. So you can ask it create a sample funnel based on my business. 
So then it will create that sample funnel for you. So that's how quick and easy it could be. So right off the bat, just like define your target audience, you can use AI, you know, create awareness by using a combination of social media, email marketing, you know, on generating interest, this is how you do it. So it's again, giving me these steps that I can now follow on my own and customize it based on what I know is the need for my client or the person that I'm building this funnel for. The next thing you could use ChatGPT for is creating the lead generation strategy. So you get copy and pasting from the prompt that we already have there of based on the sales funnel above, basically, can you create a lead generation strategy that we can follow? So I'm gonna add the word above here. So then it'll just refer to that. So this, the way that we created the AI prompt assistant is you can use it as a thread, you know, all, all in one go, or you can use it as different threads as well inside of ChatGPT. This is what threads are. And funny thing is if you notice, uh, it renamed itself to sales funnel creation. So you can edit that as much as you can, but it's a really good way to remember where your, uh, your threads are at. So, okay, now we have, here's a lead generation strategy that you can follow to drive potential customers into your sales funnel. So again, right off the bat, you already created that lead gen strategy for me that I can now start implementing that if I was a virtual assistant, I can give it to my client of like, hey, this is what I've created so far. How can we customize this to make it make sense for our business? Because again, I only gave ChatGPT the background like, hey, I help this person run this book publishing company. These are our clients, but it doesn't actually know what we've been currently doing to get leads as an example. So if you want to be more specific, you can definitely ask ChatGPT to be more specific, but that's a good idea of where you can start. The next thing you can ask ChatGPT GPT help for when it comes to lead gen and sales is creating your templates. So I just wrote out a really quick, can you create templates we can use for reaching out? So clicking enter on that and we'll actually start generating email templates for you and you can make it very specific. It could be that, hey, can you create LinkedIn templates that I can use for reach out? Can you create Facebook? Can you add Instagram? Whatever platform that you guys might be using with your client when it comes to lead generation, you can ask it to create the templates for that. So as you can see, it's already writing out uh, everything else on here that you would need. Just again, copy and paste, insert like the names, the links, all of the other information that ChatGPT currently doesn't have. And then you can use that, copy paste that and start generating leads, start emailing these people. If you have no idea how to reach out to these people, you can ask what would be the best places to reach out to my target audience. So then, um, then it will generate that answer for you based on what it is that it knows. Again, keeping in mind that ChatGPT did pause learning on the internet on 2021, so it won't have updated platforms they might have, but it will give you, to the best of its abilities, a list of where you can get these, you know, possible people who would be interested in the service that your client is offering. So right there, we have social media, email marketing, your search engine marketing, which is using Google AdWords, influence marketing, and referral marketing. So again, to the best of its abilities, it gave us a list of where to reach out for the potential clients, and it's now up to us to actually take action on it. The other ways that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to lead generation and sales marketing is answering customer queries. So once you get responses, hopefully, from the templates that it created for you, you can ask it, like, hey, how can we respond to this email? And again, it will give you that templated response, very generic, depending on how specific you've been. But it's going to be just a really quick and easy way for you to be able to just create responses really quickly, especially if you have like a ton of responses, hopefully, you'll be able to generate those responses with ChatGPT. Next is you can ask ChatGPT to create lead magnets for your client. So if you have no idea what lead magnets are, they're basically a usually a free way for people to get into your email list. It could be a PDF, it could be a report, it could be anything. But you can ask ChatGPT, hey, what would be ideal lead magnets that I can create to give to my ideal clients? So then it will create an idea, a list of, you know, you can ask it for 50 ideas if you wanted to. You can create, you know, create 10 ideas of lead magnets that I can create for my target audience. And it will create that for you. It will even sometimes give you the template or the format. You can ask it for more details of like, hey, what should this look like? How many pages should this be? Again, you can be as specific as you want to, but that's one of the cool things that, again, five years ago, if I was doing this from scratch and I had ChatGPT, a lot of my business have gone along more smoothly. So just keep that in mind. ChatGPT is really great when it comes to brainstorming or coming up with ideas that you probably haven't seen before. So just use it as specific as possible. And again, customize it to what makes sense 
for you and your client. Next cool thing you can use ChatGPT for is creating then the sales page for that lead magnet. So you can ask, hey, based on the lead magnet that we've created above, can you create the sales page format that I can put it in? And usually it will even write already the sales copy. It will write the outline of what the sales page should look like. You should still be the one implementing what the sales page would actually look like, but it'll give you already this skeleton. It's not up to you to fill it up with meat and everything else into the sales page itself, but then it's just a quick and easy way to have a sales page generated for you and your client. Next thing that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to sales is just upsell generation. So just like how we created that lead magnet, you can ask ChatGPT, hey, what would be an upsell product or service that I can give to my target clients or my target audience based on the product that we have? And you can insert the you know, information of the product and also the lead magnet that we already have. That way, you know, again, if you have no idea what an upsell is, is once you have a customer, what's a way that you can have them either buy more or be in a subscription model, so on and so forth. But you can ask it like, hey, what would be a good product of how that could look like for me and my client? Another way that you can use ChatGPT is to create an onboarding process. So once you actually have a client or you're, you know, you help your client find a client, you can ask it to break down a good onboarding sequence or process of what's the best way to get started right off the bat. So you can put that into ChatGPT. Hey, can you create an onboarding process for me once I close these target audiences? That way, again, you don't have to start from scratch when it comes to generating these ideas for you and your client. Another way that you can use ChatGPT for lead gen and sales is to create the follow-up process. So just like how it created your lead gen process, you can ask it to generate like, hey, can you create follow-up templates that I can send to people and how often I should email them? So you can just ask it again for best practices of how to best do this. So let's say, you know, you haven't heard from the client in three days, what would be a really good email to get them to respond or haven't heard from seven days and then hitting the limit of like, hey, if they haven't responded in 14 days, that means they've probably given up on the project. It's probably time to move on to and go to the next potential client that you can work with. So then ChatGPT will write that out for you, that whole process and the templates that you can use for follow-up. Up. And of course, one of the ways that you can also use ChatGPT when it comes to lead gen and sales is to find the best tool that you can use for each part of the process. So earlier we had the rundown of what the sales funnel could look like, what the lead gen strategy could look like. Then you can ask it, like, hey, what would be the best tool that I can use for every single part of this process? That way you already have, again, a framework, a skeleton of what you can work with. So then it's easier for you to come up with that actual plan and process that you can actually implement. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. Do you have any requests for other types of tasks or other types of areas in a business that I, you guys want me to show you different prompts of how to use ChatGPT with? I would love to know. Now, if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. Now, I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.